What's in the bag? 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 Hey, Don, what's in the bag? I've got sweet corn today. Yep. Got it from Myers. I've tried corn all over the county, and Myers is my favorite. They've got some good yellow white. I really enjoy it. Hi, I'm Teresa Feiner, Janesville Farmers Market Manager, and I'm here with Anne Marie Ames, our guest host for the Janesville Farmers Market Report on August 20th. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, Teresa. Good morning. What brings you to the farmers market? Um, well, because I come down to see you every week when I can. <laughs> um, I'm here to do a little shopping. I do have one, um, I have to buy some cilantro today. And I'm also helping introduce the What's in Your Bag promotion that will start August 27th, uh, sponsored by The Looking Glass and JATV. Thanks, and we look forward to having you host the report. Good morning, my name is Anne-Marie Ames. I'm a reporter and blogger with the Janesville Gazette. And I'm here today at the Janesville Farmer's Market to tell you about a chance that you have starting next week to promote your favorite farmer's market vendor and uh, get a chance to get a discount at the Looking Glass for your lunch or breakfast. Starting next week, August 27th, you can um, get a chance to talk to the folks with JATV on camera like I'm doing now and tell them what's in your bag. They will. Uh, ask you what you've bought that day and you can uh, show off your purchases as well as talk about your favorite vendors. The interviews will be posted at JATV.org. Um, those that get the most votes, the vendors that get the most votes will be the Friends of JATV and Looking Glass Vendor of the Week. Also if you come down to the Looking Glass patio and do one of these quick and easy interviews, uh, you'll be eligible for 10% off your meal that day at the Looking Glass. So again, this starts August 27th uh, with the Looking Glass on the patio at the Janesville Farmer's Market. I'm Anne Marie Ames, Janesville oh, Gazette sure. reporter. But today You're I'm famous. Uh, yes, indeed. But and today you I'm got a different hat? Today, yes. Today that's, I'm with JATV. I'm not with That's no, why no. they were teasing you. Yes. yes I they overheard were. They were the thinking teasing. they were thinking maybe I was having a little career change where I need to look beautiful instead well, of just be see, a good writer. I was just giving Frank this is non record <laughs> This is off record. It is on. You can tell me when we're done. How about we'll okay. uh okay. Will all right, so can you tell me your name please? John Eister. All right, and you live in Janesville? Oh, I live in Edgerton, oh. rural Edgerton. See what I know. See, I can't be on this. You, you sure can because you love the Janesville Farmer's Market. Oh, I do. I'm here every Saturday. All right, well, John, what's in your bag? Well, first I'm going to tell you what's not in my bag because I'm very disappointed. The egg roll people aren't here this week again. I didn't even notice. I love the egg rolls. I do, too, and I'm prepared. See, I've got my stuff. Because that is our Saturday lunch. Yeah, he's got a container to take his egg rolls home. So oh. now I don't get any lunch. Darn it. Other than that, I'll I have I splurged on a couple Amish pies, mm. my wife's absolute favorite pecan, uh -huh. and then the cherry for the rest of us. And I know she they're puts that good. All to herself. Yeah. And, and these eggplant, now these are the right kind of eggplant. They're Japanese. Okay. And oh, they are long absolutely thing. much better than the big fat obese ones. Hmm, what's different about them? Uh, I'm not the expert. You have to talk to one of those guys that like we them? raise them too, and they're much better. Huh. Much less seed, tastier. And they're more expensive than the big fat ones. That's yeah. what I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> how, um, how are you going to prepare them? I'm going to fry them or I'm going to make casserole. Excellent. I love eggplant casserole. Oh, I do too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Excellent. Great. Well, have, I'm sorry about your lunch, but I'm, I am sure, too. You can, I'm sure you can uh, 
pull I'll, through. I'll go fry eggplant. There you go. All right. That'll be good. All right, John. Thank thanks so much. much. Thanks so much. with the Janesville Gazette. Uh -huh. Today I'm helping out JATV okay. uh, doing their farmer's market report. And what I would like to know is what is this? That is called a Charente melon. It's an heirloom variety. It's uh, like a cantaloupe type thing. Very sweet, really good. We've grown them in the past and we get a lot of requests for them. So yeah, they're kind of different, but yeah. really good. It's a little bit soft. It smells like oh, it smells They're very bit fragrant, yeah, very yeah. fragrant. Wow. Does it those, have a, what color is the fruit? I was going to say, those Charente are orange, right, Anthony? Charente is our orange? Orange. Orange on the inside, yeah. yep. It's not great. Good, it's good. Not, I'm sorry, tell me what your name is. I'm Laura J. This is Taylor. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> She's working hard today. Yeah, just got up. We just got here, so. I hope for a good day. Well, it looks, everything looks beautiful. Well, thanks. It's coming in really a lot right now. It's the best time of year, so yeah. good. <laughs> we're very excited. Yeah, I bet, it's, I bet it's busy. A lot of work keeping up with vegetables. Very much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Every day till dark, we're picking and packing and yeah. keeping up with the garden. Do you do, um, do, you do CSA boxes? Or? Nope, we just do this, and then we milk goats commercially, too. We milk 160 goats okay. every day, twice a day. So we do that before we get here, and yeah. yeah. Yes, it is. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping. All right, no pressure. This is really, really low pressure here. Okay. So I'm Anne Marie Ames, and will you tell me your names, please? I'm Greg. This is Sharon. Greg Hi, Greg Sharon. Is Sharon. And you're from Janesville. 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 And come down to the farmers market often? Yes. Yes. I saw that you were chatting with some friends, so I figured you're regulars down here. We are. So, folks, tell us what's in your bag. Cantaloupes. All right. Ooh, those are nice. Big ones. Uh huh. And and um, goat cheese. And some smoked string cheese. Uh -huh. A pepper. Ah. Dill. More so peppers. A banana pepper. Actually, an Anaheim. Oh. Roma tomatoes. Uh -huh. Pickles. Dill. That's yeah. Oh, nice catch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Something I've been waiting for for a while. Yes. I'll show you. Oh, I'm excited. Lemongrass. Oh, sure. Excellent. So this looks like, um, this looks like, oh, smells delightful. Looks like maybe two or three different projects you've got going on. What are, yes. what recipes are you going to make or what yes. things are you going to make? Well, I'm going to roast up some zucchini and some eggplant, there's eggplant in here too, and um, peppers, and use it in spaghetti. Okay. And then um, I just borrowed a Vietnamese cookbook from the library, Excellent. and I'm going to try some Vietnamese recipes, that's why I needed the lemongrass. Great. And the deal is to go into some home-smoked salmon salad. Ooh, wonderful. Is the, is the salmon smoking right now, or is it? Is no, it he going? already did it. Yeah. <laughs> Smoker is a good investment, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's fun. I highly yeah. recommend it. Yes, yeah. it's fun. All right, excellent. Sounds like you have a busy Saturday. Yes, we do. All right, thank you so much. Thank You're you. welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. I'd love to talk to you about um, the smoking wood that you've got for sale. Okay. Do you have a second? Hi, I'm Kevin Cavula. Hi, Kevin. And the name of your... Um... Lone Rock Prairie Nursery. Excellent. Where are you located? Outside of Footville. Okay. And typically, what do you have for sale? I do uh, native wildflowers, perennials that grow both in the woods and open prairies, savannas, and wetlands. Great. All right. And, and I noticed this week something that I haven't seen before, uh -huh. or maybe I missed it. 
But you've got wood that folks can buy for their smokers. Up oh, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Na uh, native woods, uh, wild plum, wild apple, uh, plum, they're all good for smoking and just adding additional flavor to your barbecues. Okay. Do you need to have a wood smoker to make these wood? No, no, no. I use a regular Weber grill. Yeah. Great. And the idea is I, I just cook with the wood. You can add it to your charcoal and then it's time and exposure to the smoke and how much you want it for the intensity of the flavor. Okay. Um, any, any recommendations? Do these different kinds of wood go well with, with different kinds of meats? Well, apple apple's the most popular and if you like bacon, the probably one of the main reasons is apple wood gives it such wonderful flavor. I like the pear because pear is a, a cousin of apple. They're both in the same family, so that tends to taste really good. And wild plum, wild plum, our native Wisconsin wild plum is very sweet. And uh, in case you're wondering, box elder is a maple, so you can use box elder to replace maple wood. And elderberry, or excuse me, mulberry, which is a big weedy tree around here, is also a good barbecue wood. So if you want to get rid of that that box elder to let your hardwood just cut it grow. down, or yeah, cut it down, dry it. Dry it so it's dry, and it's just a wonderful, light, sweet wood to barbecue with. Huh. So you can, yeah, just, it's work to get rid of it, but you might as well use it, so. Right, excellent. Yeah. Um, all right, thank you so much. Sure, thank Have you. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. <laughs> all right, ladies, good morning. Good morning. Um, this is just about the best place in the world to be sitting today, I think. Awfully nice out here. Um, are you here? Have you been here previous weekends or? Every weekend. Every weekend. This is our Saturday morning. Yeah. Excellent. And coffee, breakfast, Bloody Marys, all of the above? All of the above. <laughs> all right. What about shopping? Do you do some shopping when you, you're down here? What's? Coffee and we do the farmer's market. Okay. What? You got eggs? What else does anyone have today? All right. Excellent. And the popcorn. <laughs> um, I will say this patio is also a favorite of the Janesville Gazette staff. <laughs> it's a good spot. Now keep in mind that um, starting next week, um, if you, you can do an interview on camera and you can get 10% off here at Looking Glass. Your interview will be posted on JATV online and um, you can promote your favorite farmer's market vendor. So make sure you're paying attention when you buy your groceries. <laughs> All right, ladies, thanks so much. Enjoy your morning. Thank you. All right, good morning. And your name, please? Deb. Deb, and where are you from, Deb? Janesville. From Janesville, okay. And um, are you a regular at the farmer's market? Yes, I am. All right, so what's in your bag? Right now, I've got a cantaloupe and a loaf of bread. Excellent. Do you remember where you got those from? Yep, the cantaloupe is down, and I'm not even sure the stand. It's an organic woman who's uh, down that end, and then mocha moments. Okay, excellent. I was going to get cantaloupe today, too. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Looks good. All right. Thanks, Deb. Have sure. a good time. Or have sure. a good day. Sure. You too. Hi, my name is Teresa Feiner, the Janesville Farmer's Market Manager, and I'm here to promote What's in Your Bag. Hi, Anne-Marie Ames. What's in your bag? Well, I'm just getting here this morning, so I haven't had a time, uh, chance to shop yet. So right now I have empty egg cartons, which I save and bring back here to Sasha Acres. So I can either drop them off or buy some, uh, some more eggs. What do you like to do with your eggs? Oh, geez. Um, when I get farmer's market eggs, I definitely like to eat them scrambled, like just so I get the plain egg. Like if I have grocery store eggs, I'll put those in something. In something because you don't. Cake yeah, or whatever. Right, or bread because you don't miss the flavor. But when I have good farm eggs, I like to eat them just plain fried or uh, scrambled or even boiled. Thanks for participating in What's in Your Bag.